Good afternoon guys and welcome to Brick Talk TV Live. Uh, this Sunday we'll be doing the uh, Jurassic Park uh, Tour Jeep which is a mock which has been designed by Humble Bricks Design. So in today's episode we're going to be building, and you can see it on my iPad, we will be building this Jeep um, which you should see or should be familiar from a Jurassic Park film where all the people going on the tour in the park. So we're going to be building that today. Uh, the reason for building this is, of course, to go with the Jurassic Park set where we've got the T-Rex Rampage where he's coming out of the gate. So I'll be adding this Jeep into the theme park, which I've got under construction at the moment. So that'll be coming through the gate as well, which I think will add a nice feature. I have put the uh, link to download the instructions. Uh, you have to buy them, obviously, off the person who's created them. But there's a link in the description below, so do check that out. And as a reminder, do hit that like button and hit subscribe with the bell notification turned on to be notified of future uh, live streams we'll be doing on this channel and next weekend we'll be doing the um, Lego creator expert bouquet flowers uh, next week as well so you can see that if you've not checked out any of the botanical range yet we'll be building that along uh, morning Brandon I'm good thank you how are you today uh, I'm looking forward to this hopefully I've got all the parts I've gone through and I've checked the inventory um, so we should be ready to go uh, do check out as well this week I did drop the uh, review of the Nintendo Entertainment System which we did a live stream of a few weeks ago as well so you're interested to see a few more thoughts in a bit more detail around the set then check that out as that's live on the channel as well. So for now let's just get into build mode and we'll take a closer look at um, constructing this set. So Tupperware box is at the ready um, and we'll be following the instructions along on my iPad which you won't be able to see. Um, but it should hopefully look pretty good by the end of it. I think you can get some, you can make some stickers up, but the uh, the instructions don't come with any stickers. So if you do want to stick Jurassic Park signs on, uh, you'd have to make them yourself or look them on the, look them up on the internet. So to start us off, we start with this uh, two by twelve. I think two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, two by twelve in black forms the basis of our car. And then onto this, we're sticking a couple of um, axle bricks, ready for the, the wheels to go on, just like that. 
and then the same on the alternate side for the other set of wheels. It should be a fairly short stream today, I think. There's not too many parts, about 300. Uh, so now we've got these sort of axles in place, ready for the uh, ready for the wheels. We're just going to put some extra um, support parts on here. Some inverted curved black parts. So we've got eight of eight of these curved pieces just going in underneath each of the uh, axles that we've created. If I can find them all, and there's two, three. Six, and then two more just on this last axle. Mm. Hopefully, it's in here. There it is. Just stick that on the last one. Oh, you're getting a heat wave there, Brandon, are you? With it was warm yesterday here, about 22 degrees, I think, around uh, centigrade, but it's a bit cooler today, a bit more cloudier. So there's our sort of base that we've set up now. So we've got the uh, these inverted curved pieces underneath underneath each of the sort of axle pieces that we'll be putting the wheels on at the end. Then we get two yellow two by eights and just stick those into the main core part and then also into those inverted parts like this. something now that looks like this then we've got six modified two by twos with just two studs on so we need six of these five and six and these just go under underneath the yellow um, plate here but between the two inverted pieces so we've got three of these on each side just to form the um the lip i think the step you get down on top of the jeep to get out the doors i'm thinking so just stick stick those on like that then on top we want um we want one plate one by four in yellow like that we've got two two by twos corner plates somewhere hopefully he says there's one dark bluish grey and another yellow corner plate And then we just stick this one by four yellow in the front here on the two inverted bits sticking up. And then in the back here, we'll just stick the dark bluish gray piece in the middle and these two corner pieces like so. Then we have a two by eight dark bluish gray, a two by three, one of these inverted pieces here. And we've got two two by sixes in yellow again. We'll just stick this piece at the front here. Leave two studs out and put the uh, two by eight in grey across there, and a two by three in dark bluish grey across this bit. And then we'll stick another two by six in yellow just on top there as well. Then we've got three yellow bracket pieces. We'll get the right ones so we want the ones sticking up not down three of those and then we've got three one by four yellow plates and then with these brackets we just stick them across the back here try to do it without breaking everything And 
then we stick to the one by four plates in the back, which I probably should have done first just to secure that. And then just put another one there. And I think I missed one, I did, there it is. And another one there just to secure, secure that. Then we've got a two by three and four two by fours in dark bluish gray. Don't need a brake separator, I managed it. And then these just go on top here. It's another layer of plates. Stick those across like that. And then the two by three just on there. Then we've got a one by six in yellow plate. We've got two one by three tiles in yellow. We've got a We've got two one by twos and two one by one plates in yellow again, like that. And then the one by twos just go on to this front section here. Then our one by three tiles go on. And our one by ones. And then the one by six just goes across these bracket pieces at the back just to secure it up. So it looks like this. Then I think some constructions of doors um, are gonna be going on here. So we'll need two one by one with clips in yellow. And then we've got uh, two hinges in yellow. There's one and there's two hinges. Clips just go onto this single stud over here at the back. And then here we just stick with the hinge facing outwards, the hinge piece is there. Then we've got four jumper tiles, one by threes with two um, knobs on top. So we've got four of those and they just go on the inside of the car. So we put two like that and then two overlapping like this. Then we've got some oh, two by two tan tile and three one by two tan tiles. And we put the one by twos here with the jumpers just to level it off into a square. And then at the back, we put the two by two and then the one by two on top like so then we get our wheel arches so we've got yellow wheel arches here four of these and these just go into these spaces here so those are the rear wheel arches and these front ones just go onto these at the front getting something that looks like that then we want to get our wheels so we've got three yellow central wheel parts and we've got these big chunky tires four of these and we'll just push these into each of these tires give us this four by four jeep kind of look and then we'll just stick these onto these under these wheel arches onto the axles that are already there like so so there's our wheels on there now moving quite well then we need a two by four times two dark blue grey plates we've got two by two in black and then we've got a one by one in yellow studs just going on there. And then we're going to stick this two by two here in the rear part there. And then again coming out across through sort of the, so that's going to be the bonnet area. And then the black piece just fills in two studs at the back. And these one by one yellow plates just fill in the front here to level up the, uh, the front section there like that. 
Then we have two of these one by twos with the handles on, two one by two normal plates, and two one by one yellow plates. And then we're going back towards the door area again. So we put the normal one by two plates on the front part and these other one by twos with the handles on, on the door part, and then the one by ones just to level it off, go on top of the previous one by ones that we've stuck on, just in there. Then we need two one by two yellow bricks, and one one by two with a, a slider on. The one on the slider goes on these front two studs here, like so. And then these two bricks just go into the rear bit here where the brackets were there. Then we've got two by two in dark bluish grey and two by three plates in tan colour and a one by four in yellow. One by four in yellow just goes in this front section here. Then the dark bluish grey goes in between the two wheel axles and then these two by threes in tan colour go on top like that then we have a 1x6 brick separator just to separate this easier said than done There we go, so we've got a one by six yellow, we've got two one by two, two one by two in black, and we have two one by twos, hopefully, in this lime green color. Like that. So then across the front, we put the one by six, then we've got the two black, one by two plates going to the bonnet area then the lime green and then two yellow go on the rear axle part just across there then we've got two downward facing bracket pieces and a downward one by two bracket piece and then we're just going to stick that across the front here so we will have some options to put some lights. So you put the shorter one by two just in the front there, above that slider one, and then these larger bracket pieces on the side. So the front looks like this now. Then we've got one by one yellow tiles, and then we need some transparent orange one by one tiles, and two clear ones just to do the front lights on the Jeep. So then if we go back to what we've just put on here, we put these yellow ones just either side in the central part here. Then the transparent ones go in the top corner and the yellow ones just underneath. So put something that looks like this. So those are our front lights. Then we've got two lime green grill pieces and two upward one by one clips in black. Again on the front where we've got these two studs we put these lime green grill pieces on to give us the front radiator and then two clips just go on these front two studs here like so then moving around the back we get another one by six this time in yellow and also a one by six in lime green as well the yellow one goes across the brackets at the back and the lime green one goes at the front here just behind the other two one by twos that we stuck on earlier 
Then we get three one by two bracket pieces here. And if we go around the back again, where we've got these studs, we just stick these facing downwards, like so. So we've got something that's looking like that at the back. Then we get a one by six tile in yellow, and we stick it right across these downward facing bracket pieces. That and there's another one that we stick along these the downward facing bracket pieces as well. So we've got two yellow tiles that's gone on the back there. Then across here, these top studs, we have a one by six, sorry, one by four even, lime green tile. And then we get two one by one tiles, trans red, just to do the rear lights. Goes on like that. Just a sort of rear boot forming here. Then we get eight one by one in lime green plates. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then we stick one on each side here. Stick another one on each side over here, near the door. And then we stick two on top of each other, just on top of the wheel arch. There's one. And there's another one. So we've got that now. Then we get seven one by twos in lime green plates, which I've stuck together. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We need to separate these, and then we've got. Two one by one in lime green, but with the studs on the side. So the studs on the side ones, bricks just go on to the door here. We would put a one by one, and then these one by two plates. We put three across the front here on this side, three across the alternate side. Like so, and then the instructions say we put one there. There's there's nothing to clip it onto yet, so it's probably a slight um, mistake in the instructions, but it'll probably clip onto something in a second, so I'll just put it to the side a minute. Next up, we've got three Technic bricks with the holes in the middle, one by twos, and we're going to some dark red colours now. So we've got two corner plates in dark red, and we've got two one by one plates in dark red too. So the L-shaped pieces just go onto this rear part here, onto one stud. Still wants to have this lime green one in the middle here, but it's not clipped onto anything yet. Uh, and then these Technic bricks just go into this sort of engine area here. All three of them just go into it like, uh, I can do it into it like that and then these one by ones in dark red just go onto these side studs which we just stuck on top of the door sections then we get a one by four in dark red and two one by one tiles the one by four clips on top of this loose lime green piece between the two corners so now that's in fixed into position on the back and these tiles just go into these one by ones in dark red that we just stuck onto the door and these side studs it kind of looks like that now then we need two one by two tan tiles and they just cover these yellow studs at the back here like that and then we've got four corner panel pieces
which then insert on either side of these tan pieces we just stuck in. four one by one plates and these in dark reddish and they go on the top of these line bricks at the front here and on the door and we've got one by two in black and another one by two with a handle piece and these are going to go into this section here which is like the going to form the um, dashboard I think on the car and then we've got six one by one lime green bricks and we just stick these along the full length of the car Like so, so we've got a bit of a checkered look on the side and then we've got 10 one by one plates three four five six seven eight nine and ten and we just go across both sides of the car here adding these red pieces on and there's two stuck on top of each other here on the wheel axle and then another two here and another two on this side so we've got this kind of look going on now then we want two one by one lime green tiles and two dark red tiles. The lime green ones go on the corner here at the back near the boot and these red ones go on the door over this side here. And then we've got four one by one plates in black. Uh, stick two on top of each other and then they go in the corner here at the rear boots. And another one there. That's what we're looking at now. Then we have a one by two tan and a one by four plate in tan. And the plate goes across the dashboard here and the brick goes just inside where the car is there. Then we have five lime green jumper tiles one by two ones and we have four of the same but in dark red there's three and four and they're going to cover up the front bonnet so it's going to be sort of a striped fashion at the front lime green at the front goes right away across like so then we've got two one by two reclips sideways which is going to go into these gaps here for the rear view mirror I guess something like that and then we've got three tan seats and they go in a sort of staggered configuration in the back like that so those are our seats now that are in, in position yeah Brandon uh, Rebrickable is a really good good website I've got a few of my own designs on there actually a few modulars um, 
and I've, I've recently just built a space shuttle as well uh, which I'll do a review of uh, in a couple of weeks So now we've got three one by one dark reds and dark green uh, tiles and we'll just stick these dark red ones on top of these dark red jumpers that we've already stuck on here. I'll get them level as much as I can. Followed by some lime green. There's a lime green one here goes on in the middle at the front. And then another red one on this side. We've got the top like that. Then we've got three one by three tiles in lime green, and then two one by two lime green tiles. And on the front here, on the bonnet, we put the one by twos on the front part of the jumper, and then these three go straight down the middle like so to form sort of a raised bonnet area here on the front. Three upward facing dark red clips. One goes on the front and then these just go above the black clips we've done for the rear wing mirror. Then we've got two one by two upward facing clips in black. Two, this is two. And then we've got two sort of Technic claws, one of them, sorry, facing up. So if we look on the inside here, where we've got this handlebar for the steering wheel, we put the Technic clip in into there, and these black clips just go links to these red clips that we've just put on as well, like that. Then we've got a steering wheel. We just stick that onto that claw that we just put on there. So we've got a steering wheel now positioned in the Jeep. Then we have two one by ones with studs on the side and six one by one plates. So that's four, five, and six. And then we put one of these on top of this brick and we put two plates underneath and we repeat that to sort of build up a little column. Let's do that again on the, with the other one. So two one by ones on the bottom, one on the top, which is level, and then they just stick at the back here. Like so, just to raise the rear bit up. Then onto those, we get two of these sloped grill pieces and they just clip in to that stud that's sticking out on the side so the rear looks, looks like that now. Then we get four one by one bricks in dark red, stick two together and then we just stick them slightly way back from what we've just done there to make some more columns there. Then we need two black paddles, not lollipops, and these are going to clip into these black clips we've got here just to create the rear wing mirrors I think. Like that. Then we have a, a glass and two one by one round tiles in black. Of course the glass goes on top of the dashboard from the, the film where the uh, T-Rex is coming out and you hear the stomping and the water shaking. And then these one by one round tiles just go in front of these paddles that we've just stuck on for the rear wing mirrors just to give them uh, some finish there so they look okay. Then we're gonna put some windows in. So we get two of these slopes black trans pieces and then we've got four black trans panel pieces and the sloped ones of course one goes on the back for the rear the other one goes on this 
on the front here in some configuration. Like that. And these two panels just come on either side in the rear part here. So we've got something looking like this now. And if you look around the front here, we get two one by twos with these handle pieces on here. Stick them into these dark red clips at the front. Angle them back a bit to be sort of in line with the the rear wind, uh, sorry, the front windscreen, and then onto them we stick two green one by one, one by one tiles, and same in dark red, just to continue the pattern of the vehicle going up up here. I have to make these as straight as I can. So at the front now you've got that kind of look. Then we need to build out this top section so we've got a bit of a frame to stick the roof on. So we get two, so then they get one one by six in dark red plates. We get three one by fours in dark red. There's two one by twos with sliders on and then there's two just one by two normal plates got stuck together so let's just separate them out. So the one by four goes across the front windscreen here. Then we have the one by six, which goes across the sort of rear boot area. Then we've got a one by two on. Then a one by two with slope, with the slope face slider facing inwards. Just repeat the pattern on the other side. And then a one by four goes off above the door. It's only held on by one stud. Which is a bit of a, which is interesting, shall I say? Could be a worry. Depends how it's flimsy or not. So put that on top. Then we've got a one by six lime green. We've got two one by twos in dark red. Two one by twos in lime green. A couple of one by ones plates, a couple of one by one tiles in dark red and a couple of one by ones in lime green tiles. This time we put the one by six lime green across the, the back again but it's one stud over. Then we get one by two dark red, one by two lime green. Continue the checkered pattern going across the top here and it's a one by one dark red followed by a uh, lime green, lime green tile, followed by a dark red tile. Same on the other side. Just going across the above the door like that. Then a one by six in red, one by two in black trans colour, and two one by ones in dark red. Then the one by six in dark red goes again, making this sort of staggered look across the roof, followed by the one by ones in dark red. Then we get these dark trans transparent pieces. And to help us with the roof, we've got these one by two with these bars on. We go across in the middle. So we've got something looking like this at the moment. top of that a couple of one by two dark reds to cover up the black pieces like that and then either side of that we've got a double sort of cheese wedge in dark dark red then at the back to give it a bit more of a curved look we've got these uh, curved bricks or tiles and they just go across here to cover these studs up got something looking like this at the moment then we get three one by ones with clips facing upwards. Ooh, try not to throw it everywhere. And we clip these into these 
bar pieces that we've already stuck in. Facing upwards. And then we get three dark red cheese pieces just to stick into the studs that are exposed on the clip. something looking like this now then on the side we've got a couple of, we've got six dark trans wedge pieces cheese wedges two of them go onto the dark trans plate we've already stuck on on both sides it's like the looking out part of the, the roof and then the other one goes just above the the doors on the one stud that's still exposed. So we've got this, got these trans parts here. And then on these black bits we've stuck at the top, we actually put three transparent one by one plates into the bottom one. I think these are potentially like lights, but I may be wrong. So we've got that now at the top. Then we take this large piece here and this piece here. And this piece here is gonna go on the front of the Jeep, like a big bar to protect the lights and the front part of the, uh, the Jeep there. And then this part goes into the front here is the transparent roof, which you may remember that the T-Rex stands on at one point. Try and make sure I can stick this in properly, like that. So there we go, so we've got this transparent roof on top of the Jeep now. Then we just got to add a few more detail parts. We're getting near the end of the build now. So we've got one more paddle. We've got four more, four of these sort of clip pieces. The paddle goes on this last clip on the bonnet here and then these pieces just stick onto this front bar that we've stuck on and wrap around the car just to protect the uh, headlights from being smashed from the side so it forms like this curved piece now then we've got Three, I think this is probably the last step. We've got three transparent one by ones rounds and we've got these two sword pieces. Two sword pieces clip into the clips we've got on the side sticking out of the Jeep. And then these transparent pieces are just pretending to be some extra lights. So we've got one on this top paddle and then into the top of this at the front. We've added two transparent pieces here, one there, and then these sort of aerials now, which were the swords that were sticking up. And that's the uh, that's the Jeep. So now you've got this sort of Jurassic Park looking Jeep, uh, which you can open the doors with. So these doors open, these are brick built doors. You've got three seats inside, which you can position minifigures. So you've got the infamous glass of water on the dashboard, and you can remove this top roof bit to get the uh, minifigures in. Got some lights at the top here. You can't open the rear, so the boot does uh, stay shut. But, um, it looks quite effective. I think it kind of is uh, recognisable as the uh, Jurassic Park Jeep. I think if you added some stickers on here, it probably would stand out even more. And I've seen the other kind of Jeep in the Jurassic Park as well. There's a, a mock for that. Um, but this one probably looks is more familiar for the gate entrance where it goes through the gate into Jurassic Park. I think than than that Jeep one which was more Dennis Nerdry trying to escape with his shaving foam. So that's the uh, that's the build for today. That's the Jurassic Park um, Jurassic Park Jeep. And we're going to place that now in the theme park coming through the gate. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me just go back to the main view and I'll show you what this looks like. That's, that's what the Jeep looks like there. It does look fairly effective, I think. Colours look okay. Uh, so I'll stick that now inside. I might put Dr. Grant inside the... Uh, inside the driving seat, a bit similar to the film, 
uh, and put that in position there. So I hope you enjoyed today's build. Quite a short stream today, just building that. So it took us uh, about an, just well, less than now, about 40 minutes. Again, reminder that next Sunday at the same time of half two, if in the UK British summertime, we'll be building the uh, Creator Expert bouquet of flowers. So if you're interested in the botanical sets, that'll be quite a nice build to to take a look at. I've not built anything yet in that range, so it will also be a fun build for me as well. And I hope you have a great week and you can join me next week. Just a reminder, hit that subscribe button and like if you enjoyed this stream. And do check out the other content on the channel uh, and do like that as well if you can because it helps the channel grow. And uh, you have a great weekend and what's left of Sunday. And I'll see you this time next week. See you then.